Hi everyone, welcome to the show and boy do I have a treat for myself today. I just picked up this Celestron Astro Phi Refractor Telescope and it is the bomb. I first started getting interested in telescopes when I was 27 years old and I got to Japan for the first time. I went to a big camera superstore and you know in Japan they sell a lot of lenses by Canon, Nikon, Sony and they had a lot of telescopes. I picked up some telescopes there over the years. So I've tried refractor telescopes as well as reflector telescopes. I'm gravitating these days towards refractor telescopes because of the climate that I'm in. It can get really hot, very humid, and mold tends to pick up on lenses if you don't put it into a dry box. And obviously a telescope like this isn't gonna fit into a dry box. I have another telescope here, it's the Acuta. And it's the last telescope that I bought from Japan before picking this bad boy up. Reflector telescopes are really nice. You can get a pretty good reflector telescope at a pretty low cost. A good reflector telescope is usually gonna cost more than a reflector telescope, but they are a lot easier to maintain. So this Astrofy 90 telescope is 600 US dollars brand new easily. The guy that I bought this from was selling it online for 280 US dollars. When I got to his house, I noticed straight away that there was a lot of built up of mold on the lens that the seller hadn't noticed and he was apologizing for that. So while I was looking at the construction of the telescope, I was already working out in my mind if I had the skills to take it apart and clean up the lens. So I could already tell that it was within my ability to do so and my experience to do it safely. So after picking up this telescope, I brought it back home. I took out the hood, dismantled the lens, and I proceeded to try to clean the lens as best that I could. I think I managed to clean up most of the mold, but there was still some spider mold that I wasn't able to get to. The screws and bolts were also rusty, but what I did was I used a marker pen to basically draw over and seal up the screw so they wouldn't get any more rusty than they already were. I had to work on this telescope quite a bit, but I'm quite satisfied with the restoration process that I achieved. When I got this telescope, there wasn't any moon in the sky. It was basically the new moon. But tonight is the first night that I can see the moon and it's the waxing crescent moon. You can compare the image that I took using this telescope of the waxing moon with the sturgeon moon that I took with the Acuta telescope. The sturgeon moon was a lot bigger and a lot closer. The waxing crescent moon was further away, but I was still able to pull out more detail with this telescope. You can't talk about the Celestron Astro 5 telescope range without talking about the Wi-Fi connection and the Sky Portal app. There are a lot of users online who have shared that they experience difficulties keeping a stable connection between the Sky Portal app and the telescope. Personally, I didn't have an issue with this, but it might be because I'm reasonably tech savvy, you know, injured tech man. So let me show you how it's done. So the first thing you want to do is to connect the power from the battery pack, uh, like so. You turn it on, and you can see that the Wi-Fi symbol is blinking red. I'll start up the Sky Portal app. It's a really nice looking app. I'll also go to my Wi-Fi settings. The Wi-Fi is connected. I now have to go into the Sky Portal app and additionally click on connect, which I'm gonna do right now. So it's connecting. And that's the sound that you're waiting to hear. And you know then that the app and the telescope or rather the mount is connected. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna take about 20 to 30 seconds for the connection to happen, so just be patient. But once it's connected like this, I can start to move the telescope. Yeah, it works great. I have absolutely no complaints about how my tablet is connecting to the mount, which is controlling where the telescope is pointing. And of course, the advantage of having a motorized mount like this is I can select any one of these constellation objects. Uh, click on it. All right, there you go. 
and it's going to find that object for me. Automating the process of finding your celestial object and that's when you can look through the eyepiece Precision. Before buying this telescope, I had heard about the Wi-Fi connection issues, but why did I go ahead and get this telescope anyway? Uh, it's because of these two LAN ports here, right? These two Ethernet ports will allow you to separately purchase a dedicated controller and connect it to the tripod mount without using Wi-Fi. And thus you'll be able to theoretically control this tripod with a lot more stability. However, since I don't have an issue with the app itself, I don't have to get that controller. And so indeed, all I spent on this amazing telescope was 35 US dollars. Of course, you're most likely not going to find the same deal that I got. But I can tell you that this is a fantastic telescope and I do recommend that you uh, get it if you can find it either used or even brand new. I'm looking forward to sharing more photographs of celestial objects that I'll be capturing with this telescope. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.